the American Hereford Association has been built through the hard work of thousands of dedicated cattlemen. Its purpose is to provide programs, services, technology, and leadership designed to enhance the genetics of the Hereford breed, to broaden its influence within the industry, and to expand the market for Hereford beef. Ten years ago, AHA implemented a whole herd total performance records program which gives Hereford the power to evaluate and develop selection traits to expand upon the basic expected progeny differences used today. An EPD is a measure of the genetic merit of an animal using relevant performance and pedigree information in a process called Best Linear Unbiased Prediction. EPDs come from performance data that producers submit on their cattle. AHA updates EPDs twice a year by combining old and new data submitted by breeders. This updating is done in July and December, with the deadline for data submission always June 1 and November 1 to be included in the next genetic evaluation. Today, we meet Jack Ward, who is the Director of Breed Improvement for AHA, as he offers some insight on Hereford EPDs. Today at the American Hereford Association, we measure 11 different traits or having 11 different EPDs and four profit indexes. Producers can evaluate EPDs and profit indexes to aid in sire selection. Hereford's menu of EPDs includes Calving Ease Direct EPDs are based on calving ease scores and birth weights. More positive EPDs indicates easier calving. Birth weight is another indicator of calving ease. Larger birth weight EPDs usually indicate more calving difficulty. The weaning weight EPD reflects pre-weaning growth. Calves sired by a bull with a plus 30 weaning weight EPD should have a 20 pound advantage in the 205 adjusted weaning weight compared to calves sired by a bull with an EPD of plus 10 pounds. The best estimate for total growth comes from the yearling weight EPD. It reflects differences in the 365-day adjusted yearling weight for progeny. The milking ability of a sire's daughters is expressed in pounds of calf weaned. This EPD predicts the difference in average weaning weights of sire's daughters' progeny due to milking ability. Maternal milk and growth reflects what the sire is expected to transmit to his daughters for a combination of growth genetics through weaning and genetics for milking ability. This is an estimate of daughters' progeny weaning weight. The maternal calving ease EPD indicates how easily a sire's daughters will calve at two years of age when compared to the daughters of other sires. After our interview with Ward, AHA added the mature cow weight to its suite of EPDs. Mature cow weight was developed after years of Hereford breeders collecting cow weights. This measurement allows breeders to select sires that will either increase or decrease mature cow size. This EPD can be used just like all others. If you have a sire A with a mature cow weight EPD of 100 and B with an EPD of 85, then you would expect females of sire A, if mated to similar cows, to be 15 pounds heavier at mature size. This trait relates directly to the maintenance requirements of a cow herd. Measured in centimeters and adjusted to 365 days of age, scrotal circumference EPD is the best estimate of fertility. It is related to the bull's own semen quality and quantity and is associated with age at puberty of sons and daughters. The fat EPD reflects differences in adjusted 365-day 12th rib fat thickness based on carcass measurements of harvest cattle. Sires with low or negative fat EPDs are expected to produce leaner progeny than sires with higher EPDs. Ribeye area EPDs reflects differences in an adjusted 365-day ribeye area measurement based on carcass measurements of harvested cattle. Sires with relatively higher ribeye area EPDs are expected to produce better muscled and higher percentage yielding slaughter progeny than will sires with lower ribeye area EPDs. Marbling EPDs reflect differences in an adjusted 365-day marbling score based on carcass measurements of harvested cattle. Breeding cattle with higher marbling EPDs should produce slaughter progeny with higher quality grades. Their traditional traits uh, like calving ease, birth weight, the production traits, the harvester or carcass traits, and then our indexes are based on a region. We have a Baldy maternal index which is basically using Hereford bulls in a commercial British cattle operation. We have a heifer 
calving uh, uh, profit index that's basically uh, centered directly on bulls that could be used in a heifer program. We have what we call the Brahma Influence Index, which is obviously tiered more for our, our Gulf Coast people that are using Hereford bulls on these Brahma cows to raise these good tiger stripe females. And our final index is more of our terminal index. We call it the Certified Hereford Beef Index, which evaluates basically growth and carcass. To learn more about Hereford EPDs or Hereford programs, visit hereford.org or call 816-842-3757.